In the season opener, we started out hot. We introduced our prestige players, Derwin James, Nick Bosa, and Jamar Chase. Not only that, but we added some studs like 87 Kenny Pickett and got a massive dub. But in game two, we were not so lucky. After some questionable play calls, I fell to a record of one and one. And that leads us to today. We're a 78 overall, a 79 offense, and a 76 defense. Luckily though, in episode number two, I did complete my challenge wheel. So the John Mechie that we acquired, we were able to salvage. So we still have two nasty wide receivers. John Mechie with 85 speed, 87 jump, 85 acceleration. I really like the duo of him and Jamar Chase. When I look at our lineup, the most glaring holes to me are number one tight end. I use my tight end way too much to have a 68 overall in. Our third string wide receiver is Elijah Higgins. Our left tackle is a 74 overall. But honestly, I think our biggest problems are on defense. All three of my DBs are golds. My entire D-line is trash other than Nick Bosa. Linebackers are also trash, but 81 Junior Seau is okay. My safeties are pretty nice though. We got Eddie Jackson and Derwin James. So obviously there's a lot of things we could add with this first wheel spin, but I'm kind of shooting for a tight end. Like if I could choose, I'd take it. And I don't get to choose, but it is a jackpot. But it can only be, no way that's gonna land on tight end. Oh shit. Oh, wide receiver, I'll take that. You know I'll take that! Let's go! I was starting to think that might actually land on tight end. So, any single wide receiver in the game, we're about to have the nastiest wide receiver core. No offensive line, tight end, linebackers, D-line. Hey, but we got great wide receivers. If you remember in episode two, I had the option to keep Martin Emerson and a tight end, and I chose John Mechie. Now, that's kind of coming back to bite me here, but there's obviously no way I could know what jackpot position I'd get. 86, 87 wide receivers. Who is there? I know there's an 86 Justin Jefferson. Drake London has an 87. Devin Hester has an 87. Then Justin Jefferson's an 86. Tyreek Hill's an 86. Ooh, there is the Jerry Rice GOAT aka card. 87 speed? Holy shit. There is no question I am taking this. That's faster than Tyreek Hill. 87 speed, 87 agility, 85 acceleration. It's the best wide receiver in the game. Not to mention we can add 680 training. It'll give him an aka X-Factor upgrade. His X-Factor is rack him up. Rack him up is not good. It's it's almost pointless. So rather than do that, I'm just going to put double me on him and let's see what abilities he gets. He's going to be our starting wide receiver. No question. Wide receiver one. I'm going to give Jerry Rice outside apprentice. Since he's going to be wide receiver one, he'll definitely be on the outside. Also guys, I don't know if I'm just like a hater, but I feel like this card art is so corny. I'm going to switch it to this. This just looks more like classic. I didn't realize how quickly we would load up on crazy wide receivers, but there's still absolutely no doubt in my mind that Jamar Chase was the right call for a prestige. What I will do right now is I'm going to move Jamar Chase to my slot wide receiver. This puts Jerry Rice at wide receiver one, Mechie at wide receiver two, Jamar at three, as well as slot. So Jamar's still going to get a ton of reps. The very first wheel spin gives us the best wide receiver in the game. Our second wheel spin is not a jackpot. Oh, I thought we were going to get 30 plus jackpot. But I like store packs. I especially like store packs right now. I'm actually going to go with three AKA packs. That Jerry Rice is from the AKA promo. What I really want here is Deion Sanders. Deion Sanders, the 80 or the 84 or the 87, obviously. Such a good DB. And I'd really like to load up DB right now. We get Leonard Williams. He'll be a really useful asset on our team as well. Mikhail Walker actually will also play. There's not that many AKA players. I do feel like we should pull the on. We get Bobby Wagner, another middle linebacker, a legend, Dan Deerdorf. Okay, so each AKA pack has had a usable player. Give me prime time, baby. Give me prime time, baby. Right here. Right here. Really can't use Jerome Bettis, so that is a bummer. So Deerdorf to right tackle and our elite center can go right back. It's only a plus one overall upgrade, but hey, we take whatever we can get here. Backup halfback is the bus. I've got some tank legendary halfbacks. It's pretty dope. So MLB2 is no longer Jihad Ward. It is Bobby Wagner. I, I certainly prefer for that. And Justin Holland is Mikhail Walker a better right outside linebacker? Justin Holland has 75 speed. Mikhail Walker has 76. He is hardly better, but I'm still going to put him in because he is better. And then lastly, Jonah Williams will come out for Leonard Williams. Those packs weren't anything absurd, but those were some solid upgrades. All right, third and final wheel spin. Tight end or DB? Assuming I get the choice. Rookie Premier. 
So for anyone who's confused, if you played Madden 23, you could exchange your Madden 23 coins and players for 99 overall rookie premier players. It also gave you an 84 overall in Madden 24. That's what all of these players that are sitting on my bench are. Let's open all of these. I get to choose one of them to be on my team. So hey, Rishi Rice is probably sick, but I already know I don't need a wide receiver, so I can skip that. Same with Zay Flowers, dope. Christian Gonzalez. Now here's a guy we 100% could use. 6'1", 83 speed, 84 XL. That is at the top of my choices right now. Will McDonald, a right end. We've got Nick Bosa at right end. Ugh, I'm just wondering if I got a... I don't remember if I got a tight end or not in this. Jair Brown, strong safety. Paris Johnson, kind of a stud. But I've got 78, Deardorff. Dewand Jones. Dorian Williams, middle linebacker. Ooh, Darnell Washington. Shit, now I really got to make a decision. Darnell Washington is huge, right? He's huge. Six... Seven Steelers tight end, 80 speed. Oh, he's a monster. It's kind of disrespectful to give him 70 run block because this dude can block like a maniac. I'm actually, I'm frustrated that they gave him those low blocking stats. I think Darnell Washington beats out Christian Gonzalez right now and we just have poverty DBs until I figure it out. There is Nolan Smith as well. He'd be good. My outside linebackers are bad, but not as bad as my tight end or DBs. So can't just fight. And my boy, Jameer Gibbs. I might've complained when we drafted him, but he's still gonna be a stud. He's gonna carry my fantasy football team. PPR monster. Lock it in right now. Jameer Gibbs ends the fantasy season as a top five running back. You heard it here first. And Darnell Washington takes us to an 80 overall. Here's our lineup going into game three. On the line is Bobby Wagner, Mikhail Walker, Leonard Williams, 87 Jerry Rice, Dan Deardorff, and Darnell Washington. Dude, if I lose the best wide receiver in the game because I choked this game, I'm gonna be a sad, sad man. I am gonna be a sad man. Last thing on the docket is the challenge wheel. Completing the challenge field gives me one pack of my choice from the store. Ooh, two receptions with five different players. We need a bounce back game. His top three, all 85s. Jalen Watson, Jalen Ramsey, Eric Berry. Look at that top three, though. Is this a run? It's not a run. It's a pass. He'll go right over the middle. Ooh, a slip screen. Hey, hey, we did our we did our responsibility as a backer. We pushed him inside. Damn, he's still got nine yards on this. Will it be his first run play? It's another slip screen. Oh, I got stuck. That could have been a pick six. Oh, he's got his half back if he wants it. He's got a lot if he wants it. Dude, that whole drive was literally so easy for him. We're gonna have to make some serious adjustments to win this game. I'm gonna send John Mechie across. Uh, let's just hit Fred Taylor. I love Fred Taylor. I'll never get over the fact that he has 57 catching. Gonna go Darnell Washington here. First pass to the 6-7 man is broken up. That was a nice play. I'm not giving up on you, Darnell Washington. I know we missed the first one, but we got that one. Fred Taylor, let's go John Mechie if he's there. Don't force it, Matt. That's not a force, he's there. Ooh! Ooh! Damn, I thought I'd get that second shoot. We're gonna go weak side right at Trayvon Walker and Okoronkwo. This guy's got a good team. Oh, take him, take him, take him! I love you, Fred Taylor! All right, first and 10. I'm just gonna do this for the reception. I don't think I'll get many yards for it. Let's not predetermine. Oh, don't, oh, that might be a touchdown. Good ball, let's go! Come on, Chase! He is unfazed by getting moved in the depth chart. Are you running this ball? You running a stretch? Yes, you are. Just dive early. Yes. Force him inside. Let's go. I'm pass committing. If he runs, I'm fucked. I'm here with Seo. We get home. I think he's going to do something similar here. He really likes the underneath throws. He hasn't really gone all too deep yet, but now he could. Yep. Underneath throws. Oh my God. You're kidding me. I think he just checks down on the left side. Well, that's not a check down. That's a nice ball. Dude, I don't have the speed with this 81 Seau. I've been talking about upgrading tight end DBs. I need a faster user. That's fine. He's going to make the move. Ooh, nice move. Once again, just going to put a lot of zones out there and hope he doesn't run. Back middle. Oh, I knew it. I'm just too damn slow. What's funny here is I don't think he's running QB sneak. Oh. What a play from Eddie Jackson! Monster play! Wait a minute. Dude, this could determine the game. We gotta stop here. If he runs, it'll get it. No. Wait a minute. Go, 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 go! Yes! Let's go! Switched on and stopped the 
with Alante Taylor, the gold. It's third and goal from the two. Very, very well could be a run. It's a fullback. Wow. Grabbed him right there, another guy. He's still 14 to seven. The good news is I get the ball half. I'm gonna go with that Darnell Washington out route again. Risky. No. Just gonna move the chains with Fred Taylor. I'm looking at John Mechie on the out route. He's trying to look at it too, but that backer is not fast enough to get to John Mechie. Can he pick it on the ground? He's keeping this drive alive. Oh, press cover, Jerry Rice. You sure you want to do that? You sure you want to do that, Jerry? Man, God, he had him by a mile. I think this is zone, so I want to go John Mechie. Yes, outside, beautiful. Can still look for out routes. Oh, horrible ball, horrible ball. Horrible, just a stupid pass right there. All right, boys. Big mental error there at the end. Gonna send Mechie underneath and then Washington deep on this play action. I honestly have both. We'll take Mechie, get the juke, and avoid a big hit. Mechie is so open. Can Pickett make this? Huge. Oh, wanted to make a juke there. Let's go, Pickett. Let's go! God, what a stupid ass throw in the second quarter. But I'm on phase. Jamar Chase in for his second touchdown. 21 to 14. There's only a minute 30 off that clock. Okay, that's like exactly what I want him to throw, except we gotta get it. Single back wing pair. I kind of expect a run now for sure. I gotta go blow this up with Seau. The amount of people I blitzed for Bryce Young to get open there. Fucking hurdle, dude. I blitzed six, and he just walks around the edge. Where are you going, 39? That's nothing! Just think about it. Think about it. Think about it. Good. Okay, so this was man coverage last time, right? Jerry Rice's first reception. Where is that ball to? What? Oh, my God. What? Holy shit, that's a pass to RB. He's in a clean pocket. Why the fuck would it ever go there? How in the fuck? Oh my God, it's a clean pocket. It's a butt naked. It's 87 overall. He's the best quarterback I could get right now. You know, I'm still frustrated with myself about the pick six. You know, that was a dumb throw, but that right there, I'm getting punished for nothing. I'd be chewing clock too. Khalil Herbert takes it another 12. He throws a bad pass and puts himself in such a horrible position. And then I get punished for throwing to a wide open man. I'm already mentally done with this game. Once again, the challenge wheel can salvage a player for us. So we'll definitely take that. Jerry Rice has one reception. Mechie has five. Jamar has three. I don't actually know what Fred Taylor has, but Darnell has two. No, Fred Taylor has one. So we need one more reception with Fred Taylor and one more reception with Jerry Rice. Okay, so Fred Taylor's wide open there. Beautiful. I'm just gonna let Jerry Rice clear. And then I'm gonna hate him. Wait, 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 wait. That was beautiful. That was good football. This looks like a man blitz. Dude, Jamar Chase gonna go for that triple crown? It is technically winnable. On this drive of his, I have to like instantly turn him over. This would be a historic wheel of my win. If we find a way right here. Not the world's greatest onside kick. Ooh, Nick Bosa? I think Nick Bosa low-key might have just pulled him out of field goal range. I kind of like knew he was gonna pass. Oh, I was actually so close to that. He throws it complete. Oh, but he's in field goal range. Why is he punting? Is he not in field goal range? Oh my God, he did it again. Oh my God, he did it again. Kenny Pickett is literally throwing the ball to, directly to the faces of DB. How the fuck is Jerry Bryce ever gonna catch that? I can't, I can't wait to see this highlight. So here's the second one. I should probably just wait for Jerry Rice to get deeper. It's still a bad ball. Jerry Rice is fucking leaping out of his shit to even catch it. This is just a bad ball though. It's the end of the game. I have eight seconds and a timeout. Here's where the game's, this, this is what ruined the game for me. Yeah, this fully ruined the game for me. Somebody who knows more about Madden than me, tell me what happened here, okay? Here's Kenny Pickett, RB. 
Jamar Chase. RB is Jamar Chase. So right here, as he throws it, that's me throwing the ball to RB. RB, the butt naked, wide open Jamar Chase. And here's Kenny Pickett in the cleanest pocket you'll ever fucking see in football. What? He throws this directly to Justin Reed. This would be a halfway acceptable pass if it went to A, Darnell Washington. But it's not. And you know it's not because Darnell Washington isn't looking for the ball. Darnell Washington runs right past it. Well, I hope the script writers have something up their sleeve because I have to win four straight games. That's it for me and Wheel of Mud. I'm going to reset this entire squad and uh, go back to the drawing board. Now, I'd love to give you guys fun, entertaining games, but it's hard not to be upset about that. We had at least two receptions with Fred Taylor, Jamar Chase, Jerry Rice, Mechie, and Darnell Washington. We salvaged one wheel spin. So that could be my AKA packs for a couple of these sub-in players like Dan Deardor, Leonard Williams, Bobby Wagner, but and they didn't really do anything. My defense is bad even with them. I think I just keep Jerry Rice here and I continue to have the best wide receivers in the game. So Darnell Washington comes out. Hey, listen, man, no matter what I do, Zach Kuntz is my starter. We went through a conqua. We went through Darnell Washington. Bring in Will Mallory with his 68 speed and 35 strength. Deardorff will come out for Eric McCoy. Funny enough, Eric McCoy is a better right tackle than Ted Karras, so he learns something new every day. We keep Jerry Rice. I think that's the right call. It's a jackpot. Best wide receiver in the game. You gotta hang on to that. Mikhail Walker comes back out, so we sub back in. I'll do Jihad Ward over here. He was our previous MLB too. Bobby Wagner also comes out, and in his place, we'll sub in Davion Taylor. He's a little faster. In the hands of the script writers, we end here with a record of one and two. One more loss. We are reset booted. I just can't see that happening. Dude, we almost season opener was number one on trending. There's no way that I'm gonna walk out of here. Ugh. There's no way. All right, boys. Hey, I love you guys. And regardless, all we can do is look to the next episode. Play our hearts out then. We're a 78 overall with an 83 offense and a 78 defense. I love you guys. Thanks for watching as always. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.